What up and what's poppin'? It's your boy Breeze. It's your dog Breeze from Fahrenheit 451, part of the Fourth and Go Network. We are burning the books alive. Last video, the picks went 4 0. The video before that, 2 0, brings our run to 6 0. If you follow me on Twitter, you know what an amazing day we had uh, last WNBA slate. That's neither here nor there. Back with my best bets for August 8th. And let's just make an 888. Back with my best eight picks for August 8th, right? All right. We got a healthy five-game slate on today. Let's get right to it. First up, give me Jewel Lloyd of the Seattle Storm to go over her point total of 24.5 points. She's hit this line in her last four out of five games with totals of 32, 26, 31, and 32. Not only that, but she averages 20.4 field goals attempted per game. So she's chucking up 20, 21 shots per game. We just need half of them to fall, a quarter of them to fall, some free throws. We know a great amount of those shots are going to be threes. Next up, give me Tiffany Hayes of the Connecticut Sun to go over her 12 and a half points. She's hit this line in her last three out of four games with totals of 28, 16, and 18. Next up, Give me Neka Ogumake over from the Los Angeles Sparks over her point total of 19 and a half points. She's hit this line in the last four out of six games and in the last four out of five games versus Indiana, including big dog numbers of 30, 35, 30, and 25. We just need a 20 ball. It's an away game, and she's a little shaky on the road, but like I said, just a little bit. Next up, give me Erica Wheeler. You know... I mean, shout out to Bob. You know we got a pack against betting um, Indiana props. Like, they're like a no touch, no low contendere. But men lie, women lie, numbers don't. So, give me Erica Wheeler of the Indiana Fever over 11.5 points. She's hit this line in the last six out of seven games. And in the last two out of two games versus the Sparks with totals of 15 and 17. First four picks. Next four picks. Give me Kalia Copper over 20 and a half points. She's hit this line in her last three out of three games and in her last seven out of ten games. And in the last two games versus, um, excuse me, who they playing today? The last two games versus the Lynx, she's had 20 points and 20 points. We just needed to get one more. Next up, sticking in the same game, give me Kayla McBride. Kayla McBreezy. Over 12 and a half points, she's hit this line in her last five out of five games and in the last two out of three games versus Chicago. That line, 12 and a half, just a little too low. I think it's up to 13 and a half now. I caught that last night. If it's still 13 and a half for plus money, go ahead and run me that. Next, give me Kelsey Plum, Plum Dog Millionaire, over two and a half threes, more than three three pointers made. She's hit this line in her last five out of five games versus Dallas. I also lean her. Um, also lean her over 19 and a half or 20 and a half points. I believe she's four out of five to that line versus Dallas. Sticking with the same game and sticking with some leans. Um, I like Tierra McCowan to go over her eight and a half rebounds. She's had 11 rebounds the last four times she's played Vegas. Um, she's also went over her, she's also had 13 and a half points or more the last four times she's played Vegas. I also like Natasha Howard, same game to go over her uh, nine and a half rebounds. She's had nine rebounds exactly the last five games she's played Las Vegas. She's also had 12 points the last five times she's played Las Vegas. I also lean Asia Wilson to get busy. Our MVP, my MVP, Asia Wilson to get busy. It's her birthday. Happy birthday, love. Those have been my seven official picks. And last but not least, bad, the GOAT, Diana Taurasi. Uh, I took her point over 17 and a half. It was something nasty. Uh, it was like minus 142, minus 168 or something like that. However, like I've been doing the last three games, I'll probably ladder her. So I'll probably take her plus 20 points. Um, I was putting her plus 20 points in a parlay last night on FanDuel. It was at plus money. Um, and then as soon as I like tried to put it in, it went to like minus 112. So Lord knows what it's at right now. But give me Diana Taurasi to go over her point total, whatever it's at. She's had 20 points in the last two out of three games versus Washington, and she scored 24 points or more in the last four games straight. 
Those have been my eight official plays and a couple leans. Um, some more leans. What do I got? What do I got? I like Erica Wheeler to go over her assist total. I like Jordan Canada to go over her assist total. Um, I like Atlantis, Elena Smith over eight and a half points for the Chicago Sky. Um, I like Satu Sabali. She's been balling over her 17 and a half points. I like her PRA as well. Um, I believe that's all I got. So I'll hit you with a quick recap. Jewel Lloyd over 24 and a half points. Tiffany Hayes over 12 and a half points. Neka Ogumake over 19 and a half points. Erica Wheeler over 11 and a half points. Kalia Copper over 20 and a half points. Kayla McBreezy, Kayla McBride over 12 and a half points. Kelsey Plum over three threes. And Diana Tarasi over her point total. So it'll probably be about 17, 18 and a half by the time you get this video. Like, comment, and subscribe for your daily sports betting videos and analysis. It's been fun doing a little um, longer video than a normal short that I do, but I got time today. And I'm going live today. So after I throw this up, I'm going to be going live. And then I'll also be vomiting parlays over on Twitter. So feel free to follow me over there. Love, peace, and namaste. Let's keep burning them. Let's keep cooking them. Let's keep robbing them blind. Gamble responsibly. Tell at your own risk. Do your own research. Only bet what you can afford to lose. My name is Breeze. This is Fahrenheit 451. Thank you so much for your time. I will see you tomorrow. Might not have any games tomorrow, but the next time we have games, I will see you then. I'm out. See you on Twitter or see you on the live.